Hi, can AI make you less intelligent? Can it damage your studying skills? Is it harmful for your brain in the long term? These are really important questions and MIT researchers made a study on that. The cognitive cost of using AI while studying. They told three different groups to make an essay about the same topic. The first group was the brain only group. The second group were given the search engine access and the third group were the AI group which were given access to a large language model. So all these groups used their dedicated ways to write an essay, both during the writing the essays part and after the interviews, the participants' brains were analyzed by an EEG machine. Electroencephalography machine records your brain's activity. It just shows you a map of the activated parts and inactive parts of your brain, so the result of this study is pretty expected. When given the external support, your neural connectivity patterns scale down. When you are thinking or learning something, your brain makes different connections, new connections and sometimes makes them stronger. This is what this study is searching for. The AI study group showed the weakest links, while the brain only group showed the strongest and widest networks and the AI groups ownership of their own essay were really weak. They fell behind in the ability to quote their own essay. Even if they wrote it a couple of minutes ago they were unable to recall it. And the second group which were just using the search engines were just in the middle of these two groups. They have shown a middle engagement. So this study doesn't tell you that you're going to get dumber by just using an AI but in an educational environment it definitely affects your ability to learn. In my opinion it is just like using any other tool. If it is just helping you like if it's enhancing your study then I think you should use it but if that tool becomes the very thing that just does the job for you then you become more of an observer in this photo you can see that the red lines in the brain are the higher activity parts and the green and blue ones are just the average or low activity while the brain only group shows lots of different engagements the search engine group is lower and the lowest is the AI group it is just the way things are if you're not doing something yourself you're not going to learn from it AI can be a good tool it can show you different perspectives it can summarize things but it really depends on your usage how large language models are made is they are a combination of their input their training data is giving them lots of connections and possibilities and from all that mess AI algorithm just shows you the next possible thing it just tells you the best optimized answer that is going to come after your question but it's an average of every data companies are trying to filter this but there is going to be lots of inaccuracies AI cannot really read reason about something. It is just a really good mimicking machine. It doesn't know what it's doing but most of the time it just mimics the expected outcome. So if you don't know anything about the topic, even seeing a copycat doing its own thing is going to look like they know what they are doing. So if the topic is about something you don't know anything about, like me not knowing what to wear or how to cook a fish properly, because I'm in the below average of knowledge and experience, I can keep learning from it until I come near that 50% line. But if I'm above that line, it is only going to help me with simple tasks which is fine it can still help you but sometimes you have to do those easier tasks to make further connections down the road you know if you don't use your muscles they are going to shrink and brain is no different not using some parts of your brain or the things you learned they are going to fade away over time just like learning a language if you are not going to use it for years then you might find out that you forgot some parts of it and driving a car you can get your driving license and most people if they don't drive for years when they once again sit behind the wheel they might fear that they can crash the car, they might forget most of their experience. Even when riding a bicycle, they say that you never forget how to ride a bicycle but you definitely can get worse at it. I rode bicycle in my street when I was a kid. You know I wasn't doing any wheelies or something but I was good at it. Now after something like 12 years of not using it, when I sat on the bicycle again it was a little bit weird. Like I still knew how to ride it but I was a little bit rusty around the corners. Especially I was trying really hard to balance myself on it. I'm sure you can remember most of your experience but it is going to get worse when you are not using it. You might forget some nuances that you knew. You know the muscle memory is not actually in the muscle, it is in your brain and in your spinal cord. It is something you can do without even thinking. In some way if you always know how to handle a situation, how to respond to it, it is just muscle memory. Intelligence thinking is not that different, but just like your skills, your abilities, your muscle memory, everything loses precision over time. Have you ever washed the dishes with your hands? I did like six years ago in my mate's house. I was going there very frequently and I was helping with the dishes. You know I got really good at it, I was really fast. Then they got a dishwasher and I didn't wash the dishes for a couple of years. Now my girlfriend moved into my city and I have to wash the dishes again. But I wasn't fast this time, it was like I forgot how to do it. I was a little bit sloppy, I was breaking a couple of glasses here and there. It was once again a slow process of learning how to do it faster. You know our brains just work like that, they forget if they don't need something. It's like answering to 2 plus 2, you already know the answer. Or like 10 plus 10, did you really think about it? 
about it being 20 you know you're just answering it instinctively you're not going ahead and counting it like 11 12 13 14 you're not doing that and you're definitely not doing a long calculation like one plus one is two then get the trailing zero here these are just the things we learned because we used them frequently but if you don't use your brain even in these small things like if you use ai to even ask the simplest questions all of the answers are going to be handed over to you and you're not going to be using your brain you are essentially going to get worse at even the simplest things ai is a tool you can use it to enhance your productivity but you shouldn't surrender to it learning is hard work you should always do it yourself your brain makes connections if it's frequent or it's important like if it's a survival situation or if it's a tragic stressful situation your brain is not going to forget those because your life depends on them our body is a machine for survival it is going to take notes for every important situation that you encounter and never going to forget them and if it's a frequent or common encounter that you are having every day your brain is just going to take notes of that because you're always using that information it doesn't make sense to forget it again actually your life your spatial environment can depend on that information your brain creates this artificial selfish world in your head and positions you at the center of it records everything that is related to you and makes connections between them your character your thoughts depends on this world so you shouldn't just go ahead and ask ChatGPT what to do in a relationship trying to hear a secondary perspective of course can be a good thing after hearing other perspectives from your friends of course but if you are just going to do whatever the chat gpt says in your daily life situations it is not going to be you anymore you are going to be applying a different character in your life those are not your thoughts and you can even forget who you are at some point this might seem like too much for today but more and more companies are implementing ai everywhere now in my phone in my text messages i have this ai button that can compose a text for me i'm sure some people are using it and more people are going to start using it so we should be careful for the future usage one last thing your brain notes is your curiosity it is actually both a combination of survival and frequency we evolved into being curious because it gave us the adventurous spirit the tools we can build the intelligence we can use for our society and eventually a better life and the more you are curious about it the more you are going to search it think on it and it is going to become a frequent thing for you we don't know any language when we were first born we have the genetics and a great brain to learn a new language but you have to learn it yourself you are exposed to that language after you are born for years there's no shortcut in that we are forced to learn it we have to learn it this is how our brain works if you don't give a topic enough attention if it's just a small curiosity it's not going to last that long in your brain like searching for why flamingos are pink because they eat pink fish no they are not doing that but this is how my brain remembers that i googled it two weeks ago now i remember that i googled it and i found some answer about their diet but i don't remember all of the details it's because they eat algae and crustaceans that have this pink coloring pigments in them if you just hear or read something and then skip it you might remember that you learned that but you might forget the actual information it only becomes permanent when you're actively making connections about it and actively thinking on it two years ago i got a call from a close friend he lost his father i remember the time where i was who i was with and what we talked about on the phone where he was too and linked to that information i also remember that there is a taxation on inheritance i even remember the ratios it goes from one percent up to ten percent in turkey i searched it at the time because he was having trouble with it you know there's no shortcuts in learning it has to mean something to you if you really want to learn it if you really want to know it you have to build new connections on top of existing connections that's the best way to learn something and you have to build those connections yourself someone telling you something and you are doing it yourself is different things let's try something try not to think about what i'm going to say right now just casually listen it this is a beautiful house i would put more plants near the pool maybe i don't like the window design that much maybe i would change it and i'm seeing that it is missing some lights in the garden maybe that would be better you know it might need a ladder for the pool but i generally like it i just told you what i feel about it or what i would change about it now in your short-term memory you know some stuff about this house but they are going to fade away after five minutes they you are not going to remember it even now maybe you are trying to remember it but just don't let's continue by the way here's a flamingo picture it's really pink as you can see did you know that flamingos are considered an endangered species let's now look at this house actually look for yourself would you live here do you like it do you like the windows the plants what would you change about it what would you add here just to really think about it would you change the color of walls where would you drive your car from like does this house have a front driveway does it have a garage would you add a garage to it see now you are really thinking about it you probably paid some attention 
attention to it. Do you remember the old house now? Like, do you remember what I talked about, what to add? Can you picture it in your head? Can you picture how many plants were there? Can you picture how many floors or how many windows it had? Was it two, three? Anyway, here's the picture. So if you remember, we talked about adding a ladder to the pool and adding some lights here in the garden. Do you remember what else I talked about? I just want to tell you that if you are trying to still remember, it doesn't really matter because this is a different house. Like the color is different. This is a different generated photo. Now let's look back at your house. Look for the differences now. Do you see any different things? Probably you were more focused on this image so you can now see some differences the color of the house is the same by the way but there are more palm trees now also the balconies are missing and there's this white room in the bottom right corner here now so just listening to someone else and paying real attention to something really makes a difference but ai can help us if we use it correctly this is how i made these images i asked ChatGPT to create them so it didn't make me less genius i'm obviously a real genius person there are times when it can help you and there are times when you should just do it yourself so next time you are using any ai just keep that in mind and be careful about about educating children with the use of AI also when doing anything with AI yourself too what do you think about it do you think I made the right points here did I miss anything let me know in the comments down below if you like the video please subscribe and thank you for listening